Breaking, Trump drops massive truth bomb to obliterate shameful liberal lie. Donald Trump is the only person in Washington willing to take on the leftist fake news media. Where ordinary politicians cower when confronted by the pundits, Trump exposes their lies without fear. The latest attack on Trump is the accusation that he had a secret meeting with Vladimir Putin at G20. Trump set the record straight in a tweet it was a dinner hosted by Angela Merkel, at which all G20 leaders and their spouses were present. The media no longer knows how to go about attacking President Trump. They've tried tarnishing his reputation every way they can. They keep hoping something will stick, but it's all to no avail. Throughout the campaign. The media tried calling Trump a racist. They tried calling him xenophobic. They tried saying he was an uninformed, vulgar, con man, sexist. The media even tried throwing false sexual assault accusations, isn't it funny how the accusers mysteriously disappeared after the election? None of that worked. Trump won a decisive victory in which he flipped some of the bluest states in the nation, including Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. Now, the deems are beating another false narrative to death, the Russian collusion narrative. The media is undoing what little credibility it has left. People are on to their lies. Donald Trump just blasted them out of the water by exposing their sick lie. How do these people call themselves journalists when they just make stuff up? According to the Talking Heads, any connection to a Russian individual is evidence of coordination between Trump and Russia. The recent Donald Jr. outrage is the perfect example. Meets with a Russian lawyer. The media interprets it as Russian agent. Does that mean every attorney in the U.S. is an agent of the American government? Now Trump can't even go to dinner without being accused of collusion? If he's served by a Russian waiter will that be used as evidence of Russian ties? And why the sudden hysteria over something being secret? Is the President of the United States now required to disclose every single meeting with a foreign leader to the media? The Constitution certainly doesn't order the president to have his entire agenda approved by the media. Shouldn't the commander-in-chief be able to negotiate and discuss intelligence without having the minutes of his talks immediately leaked out to the press? Trump the world's greatest deal-maker understands the importance of unpredictability. That means you don't tell the whole world your every move. Legendary generals like George Patton and Douglas MacArthur understood that. Trump governs in the vein of these great Americans. This secret meeting thing is simply the latest outrage of the day. Expect it to die out and be replaced by a new scandal within 24 hours. The mainstream media is dead. Its cause of death, suicide. May it rest in peace. Do mainstream media outlets deserve to go out of business? Share this story on Facebook and let us know because we want to hear your voice.